I once joked how cool it would be to have a Gradient X Terminator, an AI software where you just have to press one button and the whole gradient is gone. No more sample setting, no more modifying a thousand of sliders, just one button. And you know what? Today this dream came true. More after the trailer. Hey, this is View Into Space, I'm Sascha from Switzerland, so grüezi miteinander and thanks for watching my channel. Just five hours ago, Frank Sackenheim from Astro Colonia, which is mostly a German-speaking channel, broke the news. There is a Graxpert AI beta out there, and it works like a miracle. This is a free software, and that's the other amazing part. It's available for Windows, for Mac, for Linux. You download it, and that's it. You just enter a picture, you press a button, and your gradient is gone. From my perspective, this is probably the biggest news since Blur Exterminator. So I will show you now step by step how to install it and how to use it. And then, welcome to a new era. So let's go now to my computer. Okay, welcome to my computer. As you know, I have a Mac, so I will show you how to install it in on a Mac, which is way more complicated than on Windows. No matter if you go with a Mac or with a Windows computer, you have here the main file which you need. You find the link in the description below. You have it here for Linux, you have it for Mac, the M1 or 2 model or the Intel model. And then you have here the Windows file. So you have to download whatever you need. Then we go here to the second link which I provide below, the background model. This you also have to download. With that, we have done it here in the browser. So let's close this down. And you will have these two files. Now, for you Windows users, it's rather easy. You just have to ensure that the exe for you, it's an exe file and the background model, the unzipped one, so I can unzip this. Okay, it's unzipped now. So the BG model and the exe files are both in the same directory. As long as that is the case, it will run and you're fine. With that said, <laughs> let's go to the Mac users. And that's a completely different adventure. And I took about the last two hours to figure out how it works. So now I can tell you. Okay. So you take here this DMG file and you put it in the applications folder. Once we have done that, we go in the applications folder. I have it now here and you double click it. When you double click it, you get this here, you get this icon. And now you take this icon and you move it back in the application folder. I already did that. So you get that here, Graxpert. Then you can take this DMG file and throw it in the bin. You do not need that anymore. Good. Now you click right on Graxpert and you say show package contents. Now easiest to open a second finder window and you take now the BG model and you throw it in Mac OS in this directory. Very crucial. And with that, we have modified it. Now is that everything? No, it's not. When you click it, first of all, and you might notice, it might tell you it's not a safe app, um, so then you actually have to go in the settings in security and privacy. And there you have to tell it that it is safe. So you have done that probably already with a lot of apps. That's not the spectacular one. The real big issue is that afterwards, at least in my case, it told me it's defect. <laughs> and when Mac OS tells you it's defect, it just gives you two choices, cancel or put it in the bin, but you cannot run it. And I was running here against the wall for about an hour and until I started. YouTube, right, YouTube, YouTube is the salvation for everything. <laughs> so if you have this issue, I put a link to this video that helped me in the description below. And you have to do a few commands in terminal to actually kind of erase the security of Mac OS for this specific file. And then, da, it runs. So, 
a lot of talk, but the main thing is it runs. Here we are. So we obviously need an image, right? Without an image, we cannot do anything. So load image. This is the bubble enabler. So you can choose here the stretch option. For example, here 20%. Then you have to ensure that here with the interpolation method, you are an AI. You have to do smoothing. You can, but you don't have to. I can at the moment leave it at zero. And there's nothing else to do. Just press the button. No sample creation, no grid, no nothing. Just calculate background. That's it. And here we go. We can look at the background. That's what it found. Here is the processed. Here is the original. Now let's try it with a little bit, another one, a colored, and anyway, with a lot of gradient. <laughs> so um, also here we leave everything as it is, calculate background, and here we go. That's quite a progress, I have to say. We're here in the original, and it takes all the gradient away. It takes down here, it does something a little bit odd, you also see that in the background model here, it kind of corrects in a wrong way. So I think we have to take it for what it is. It is a better version. It definitely is not perfect yet from an installation process, but also with some aspects here, but I'm sure these guys, they can make it. And what just this better version already now shows we're very close from having this one touch solution which will work for most if not everything so given it's free download it try it out give feedback and let's wait until the the final version is out i hope it's before or at christmas that would be quite perfect because i feel this is <laughs> it's just the perfect christmas gift for for all of us astrophotographers. I hope you are as excited as I am and I wish you much fun playing with it. If you want to get such news rather fast in the future, please push the subscribe button. And if you want to get them express at the moment when I hear them, please have a look at my Patreon channel. See you next time and clear skies.